the end of this lesson, you'll know how to play some of the conga patterns on Motown hits. Coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other popular percussion. And if you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. Several songs produced by Motown have congas that are prominent in the mix, so I made a short list of my favorite conga rhythms that you'll hear on Motown hits. So listen to the recordings of these songs and jam along with what you learn in this lesson. If you listen closely to this first song, you'll hear several conga pattern variations. If you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button and please share it with someone who you think will also get value out of it. What's amazing about the production of this Motown hit was not how loud the congas were, but how the reverb is used to place the congas such that they have space to be heard. So if you're mixing percussion, consider using a little reverb to bring it out instead of pushing it up in the, with the fader. Motown conga patterns can be played a few different ways. Conga drummers are either going to play in a hand-to-hand -hand, uh, American technique uh, or the Cuban marcha style or, or a little bit of the two. Likewise, uh, the, these patterns are either closer to the Afro-Cuban styles or the American funk and R&B. The hand-to-hand -hand technique is basically just alternating strokes. So instead of the, the left hand playing uh, marcha, heel, toe sort of things, you're playing more touches and open tones that are, that are alternating strokes. This next example is more on the side of the Cuban approach to conga drumming.
If you want more information on conga drumming, do a Google search of rhythm notes and conga drumming, as well as anything else drumming related you might be interested in. So that song has a lot of really cool fills toward the end of the song that you should check out. The pattern is mostly maintained with fills in the second half of the second measure. Uh, so check out these because uh, it's a nice balance of filling in the groove without overplaying. One, two, three, four. Second one. One, two, three, four. This is one of my favorite conga patterns on the list. It's a, a marcha sound like the Cuban drummers, but was likely played with the alternating strokes like the American drummers. Uh, I added touches and heel strokes where I thought uh, they would make the most sense. The pattern on this song has a slap on the back beat and a tasteful syncopated phrase with the open tones. I, I love it when the melody of the pattern has a balance of downbeats and upbeats. It just makes the whole phrase more interesting and, and in this case, uh, it really supports the song and its melodic and harmonic movement. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.